Welcome to Dashtune Studio. In the last two videos, we created our draft Dashtune using the story and screenplay modes. Now that we have the first draft, we can edit individual panels to fix inconsistencies or even replace them. In this tutorial, we'll focus on refining the character details. Here, we have a panel where the character's hair is too long and falls over her shoulders. We want this character to have slightly shorter hair. We'll start by adjusting the character's hair length. With the frame selected, we'll choose the brush tool from the left toolbar. This changes the active tool to a brush and opens up the color picker. Let's use the eyedropper from the color picker to select a color from the character's shoulder. We will then paint over the excess hair on her shoulder to cover it up. Next, let's select the mask tool from the left toolbar and mask the area we want to edit. We will mask the character's face and the area we edited using our brush. Whenever the mask tool is selected, you can see that the generation method changes to inpaint by default. Inpaint is the process of regenerating specific parts of the image. Once we have masked the target area, we can clear out the prompt box and add our new prompt. The new prompt should describe what you want to regenerate. The characters from this show are already available in the character selection area. We can click on the relevant character and the associated prompt for that particular character will be added to the prompt box. You can add additional information here depending on what you're trying to edit and then click on the generate button to edit the image. Once the images are generated, you can see that the expression and hair length have changed as we wanted. Click on the Accept button to apply the image to the frame. Let us proceed with another example. Here, we want to increase the hair length as it feels too short. We will follow a similar process as in the last example. Mask the area we want to edit. Color the area over her shoulder to indicate her hair and edit the prompt to reflect the changes we want. You can also adjust the change percentage, which indicates how much the input image should change during the generation process. We'll go ahead and generate another set of images and apply our edited image. These are some simple ways to fix a character. Now let's take a look at this panel where the composition is messed up. Here, what we want is just an image of our character speaking on the phone instead of an image with two characters. We have a new frame here. We will click on our character icon from the character selection area in the right panel to add the character details to our prompt box. We will click on the original image to check the prompt used for that image, copy relevant parts like the action or dress of the character, and add them to the prompt box in the new frame. We'll change the number of images to four since we want multiple variations of this image and then generate. We will pick one of the four generated images. It's easier to fix images iteratively, so we will choose one that has the pose and overall composition we want in our final image. After applying the selected image to the frame, we can repeat the earlier process of roughly painting over our image to indicate the hair color and wedding veil. We can then mask the edited area. While masking, we will include a little more area of the image to edit so that the AI generation process has more area to work with. We'll review the prompt to see if any further changes are required. During in-painting, we want the prompt to reflect whatever is in the masked area that we want to regenerate. We will increase the change percentage slightly since we have crude brush strokes that need to be fixed during generation. In this case, we will also increase the retain composition percentage. Retain composition is an additional setting that is often useful when we want an image with a similar composition, but a different variation, like in this case. Click on the Generate button to get the edited images. You can see that the hair color and veil seem to be fixed. We will apply the selected image. There is still one small issue with this character's hand holding the phone, so we will just mask that area, re-edit the prompt, and regenerate to get a better output. In-painting is a very simple yet powerful technique to edit your images to improve consistency or fix issues. It can be applied to a variety of use cases, as we will see in a couple of other videos. Thanks for watching.